Good evening, everybody. Happy uh, Monday. Hope everybody's having a good uh, beginning of the work week. Week. For some reason, I, my tripod is a little bit close, a little bit lower, so I feel like I have to duck down to see you guys. Anyway, if you guys are anything like me over the last 25 years, I've been slowly outgrowing my toolbox. So here in the uh, not too distant future, I uh, I think I see uh, one of those uh, horrible freight uh, U.S. General very large toolboxes coming into my into my future. Otherwise, I'm going to have to wind up start storing tools on the floor. So what do you do when you run out of storage in your toolbox? You you buy more tools. What? <laughs> That's a logical thing to do, right? So as I was in uh, uh, one of the big box stores here uh, a couple, well, about a month ago, I was getting some kerosene for the heater for the garage here. And lo and behold, is this wonderful set of Husky tools sitting in a display for $14.97 and I thought wow $14.97 for a, a 10 piece combination set not bad and over the years I used to have combination sets and somehow they became not so combination where I'm missing a half inch or 9 16 or a 3 8 somehow they they grow legs and they walk off or you put them someplace you can never ever ever find them again until it's too late so I thought, well, that wasn't a bad price. I've never had Husky Tools before. Uh, they're not sponsored by me. They're not sponsored by me. I'm not sponsored by them. Um, I'm not necessarily an advocate for Husky Tools. I'm not saying they're bad. I've just I've never had any. So uh, and then after I got the uh, SAE, I thought, well, heck, I got to have metric because everything around here is is a mismatch of both. So then we went ahead and you get the same ten piece in metric for fourteen ninety seven. So I thought that was kind of a neat deal, and I've never really, oops, I've never really messed with uh, Husky Tools all that much as I'm trying to get these things out of here. Um, when I get the bigger toolbox, I'll go ahead and get a, a wrench organizer so I don't have to keep doing it like this. Okay, these are not going to let me in to show you the tools. And there we go with the low camera again. That's driving me nuts. I don't know what the tripod's all the way up. I don't know why it's lower. I know I didn't grow any. I mean, that would be nice. I've always wanted to be six foot, so. Okay, so. Uh, so, I don't know. A lot of you guys are probably more uh, familiar with Husky stuff. I've never really had. Uh, this is the 7 8 inch stuff. 7 8 inch wrench. Nice mirrored finish, which mirrored finish doesn't do you any good. It's the quality of the wrench that you're looking for. In case you're uh, busting up some good sized nuts on a car or a project or whatever the heck you're working on. Uh, I think this even beats the price of Harbor Freight. Don't quote me on that. Um, I think Harbor Freight is a seven piece set uh, for like, I don't remember what the price is, closer to 20 I believe. So I thought this was a little bit better deal. And I wasn't looking for these when I bought them. They were just there and they kind of grabbed my eyeballs so I thought heck why not you can't uh, can't really beat the price um, the only thing that I find that's kind of interesting with these compared to the uh, wrenches of yesteryear made here in the states is look how big this jaw here is how thick that is I mean that's great probably for strength but like does it really need to be that I've had plenty of 7 8 cents wrenches before and they're also pretty thick here so don't expect to get that too tight of a spot but then you know that's minimal things to worry about when you uh, just spent $14.97 for a set of tools. So, I thought that was a, I thought it was a pretty decent price. Can't really complain. And they come all displayed in your nice little set here. So that might be something, uh, just food for thought. If you guys, uh, any of you guys and gals out there looking for a, a wrench set that might be on sale. Like I said, I don't keep track of who's got what on sale. I just usually look at mostly like Harbor Freight, so this kind of caught me off guard in a good way. And then, um, something else I picked up here. Now, many, 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 many years ago, in the early 80s, before China took over manufacturing everything, there used to be a a country called Taiwan. I'm not used to, they're still there, but uh, they were kind of the dominant uh, force in cheap tools. And so these are some of my, uh, uh, I don't know why the heck I got these gloves on. 
I guess it's to keep the hands clean. Some of the, uh, you know, this is what they were back in the day, in the early 80s. Uh, I just picked up a set from Harbor Freight for $19. This is not them. This is the, this is the, uh, and I've had these things for years. Like I said, I bought these in the early 80s. Unfortunately, like my wrench set, it's not complete. I, I don't know if I can show. I'm missing like two out of this, out of the set here. Or no, one. Well, one out of, it was actually two. I ripped one off from another set because I had two sets that were so cheap I picked up two because I would find that if I uh, was working on a fairly large product and I put it on a, a breaker bar, whether I was working on an, oh, I guess I probably broke them uh, removing head bolts. They worked well with a ratchet taking uh, lug nuts off of a tire, but as far as like bust enough uh, uh, head bolts on an engine, they didn't work so well. So I, I cracked a couple. Um, right off the bat and it's like not a big deal because these were I probably anywhere between seven and and twelve bucks I probably paid for this in the 80s I don't even think it was as high as twelve bucks I don't remember the exact price it was a long time ago you know a lot of stuff has gone on between then and now so that's that and then here's the stuff from horrible freight now this isn't the new top of the line what's it what's the new stuff they got uh, I can't think of the name of icon or or whatever but uh, so this was one of the sets for uh, uh, that I picked up from Harbor Freight. I lost my train of thought there. And this should be the um, yeah. This is the uh, this is the metric set. And the reason I bought this is because I was doing brakes on my Kia, and all I had was that uh, what was in that red box, and that is SAE. And the lug nut that I was using fit really, really tight on those lug nuts, so I didn't dare put it behind an air, in, uh, air impact wrench because in case I didn't get it on there all the way and round that off. So I thought, hey, you know what? It's time to pick up a case of these. Um, I won't need all of them, but for 20 bucks, I don't know if I can show you guys. It looks like the machining stuff is pretty nice in there. Although I'm sure the machining and all that that the Chinese use is probably a lot newer than the equipment that the Taiwanese were using back in the day those things were made. So I know this doesn't really show you much, but yeah, I don't see anything real terrible uh, in the manufacturing of these. Uh, they do fit the Kia rather well, and then uh, I imagine if I ever run across any other imported stuff that I need to bust a nut off of, these will probably work pretty good. So that's what I got. It's just some random tool stuff for you guys. Um, point with this kind of being keep your eyes open. You never know what you might. Uh, you might find that you might need. Um, I probably will be able to use these on and off uh, throughout time and I'm trying to get a uh, toolbox. I've outgrown my old toolbox so it's going to be time for a new toolbox and I want to stuff it full of tools because I want to hopefully retire here in three years and I don't want to have to worry about tools. And over the years you lose stuff, you break stuff. I mean I had a complete craftsman set at one time and now it's not so complete. Uh, it's matter of fact it's pretty non non existent and then with places like Sears going away you can't just you know walk in there and exchange and do stuff like that by the way I've got mail just in case you guys didn't know that anyway uh, thanks for stopping by it's just a quick tidbit of tools that uh, I picked up uh, so the, uh, the ratchet set I needed or the, the yeah not the ratchet set the socket set I needed the wrenches I really didn't but they'll make a nice addition to the toolbox and now I need to get a bigger toolbox to make room I've already told you guys that that's all I got so I hope that helps you guys keep your eyes peeled I don't uh, I've got the big box store apps but I don't normally keep up on it and I was kind of glad I walked in there to get something else and there they were so that's all I got you guys have a great rest of the week please uh, subscribe hit that little subscribe button right down there and I hope that uh, gave you guys some ideas if you need uh, some new tools. Don't tell the wife. Anyway, guys, have a great week, and we'll uh, talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye. Where's the off button? Off button. Where are you? Where is it?